Check out these two prints. Do you see anything different between the two? That benchy on the left has lines on the hull, and I'm not talking about the layer lines. All of my 3D prints had these lines on the outside surface. Here's how I fix them. Let's start with a quick overview of my 3D printer setup. It's a stock Maker Gear M2, and the only thing I've changed on it is the print surface. I've added one of those adhesive uh, build surface sticker things to the glass build plate. And uh, I have to admit that it works uh, pretty darn well. It's just a generic one I, I purchased off Amazon. And up top, uh, I've built a spool rack, which makes it easy to switch between uh, filaments. Not that it matters, but I only print in PLA on this particular machine. So let's check out the situation. You can see here that there are some crazy lines on the outside surface of the print. And I can assure you they are not supposed to be there. Uh, they are definitely not in the model. Now speaking of the model, this particular uh, boat is called the Benchy, and its intent is to have a bunch of features that can be difficult to print, uh, so it acts as a good uh, benchmark for 3D prints, and hence the name Benchy. Now the intent is to print the boat, and then evaluate the features and adjust your printer or printer settings um, to fix any problems with those particular features. Now I've done a bunch of troubleshooting such as changing temperatures uh, and print speeds, uh, adding additional wall layers, I've removed wall layers, uh, but, but all that didn't help. I still had the same problem. Uh, I've also Googled it a bunch of times and came up empty handed. I've even printed uh, several calibration towers and still no luck with finding the problem. So like I said before, uh, these lines appear in all my prints. So uh, let's take a look at a print that stopped midway. The offending lines are still there on the outside surface, and if you follow them up, you can see that they line up with the infill support structure. So this was a, a big clue for me. I'm using Cura as my slicer and dicer program. So I went to the Cura website to hopefully find a solution. They had a very promising page about infill settings and you can take a look here. The website gives you some tips and information regarding how the infill can overlap the wall extrusions and I thought for sure this was the answer to my problem and I made a bunch of changes to my print settings but still no dice. Uh, the lines kept coming back. And then by, by almost accident uh, just in a general forum, I read that there may be a setting for specifying the order of the infill portion of the layer and the wall portion, uh, specifically uh, which one is extruded first while that layer is being printed. So I checked Kira and found that uh, there was a setting for this and it was sent to print the infill first. So what was happening was the infill was being printed uh, and then on the same layer as the outer wall was being uh, printed the infill would push the wall plastic out just a little bit at those those intersections around the perimeter of the part and that caused the noticeable lines on the outside of the print so let's check out the last benchy that i printed you can see that those lines are are no longer there and I can say it was 100% that infill before wall setting in Kira. That was the problem all along. As much as I'm happy that the problem is solved, I'm still annoyed that this plagued me for so long. If I can help just one person uh, reduce their, their aggravation due to this, uh, this one simple setting and, and simple solution to a otherwise extremely annoying problem, then that would, that would just be fantastic. Well, I guess that's it for now. Happy printing and smell you later.